I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a video on discrete probability. We'll discuss geometric distribution at length with the help of just one example. As per the request of some of my subscribers, we'll try to understand 90% of the concepts in this video. The question here is, suppose that the odds in favor of winning a full house in Tambola are 1 is to 24. What is the probability that you will win in the fourth game? What is the probability of winning within first four games? What is the probability of winning at least once in first four games? What is the probability that you win second time on fifth game? What is expected number of games before you win? So that actually covers 90% of the problems which you are going to get related to geometric distribution. So I hope that's very clear, right? And you agree with me. Okay. Now let us see first, why is it a geometric distribution, right? If you look into all these questions, we are only talking about one thing and that is waiting for success. That is what is the key. So if you see a question in which success happens after a lot of failures, then that kind of an experiment should result into discrete probability dealing with geometric distribution. So am I clear on this? So I expect that by now you know what is Bernoulli's principle, you know what is mutually explosive, exclusive, you know what are independent events, so those basics are clear. So I'm moving forward with that assumption. Okay. So in this particular case, what is the success? We say odds in favor of. So when we say odds in favor of, that means one is in favor, 24 not in favor. That means success, which we normally write with letter P, is 1 out of 25. Right? So you should not do a mistake by dividing it by 24. Very important to understand. 1 out of 25 is 1 quarter, which is 0 0.04, but still we will divide and check 0 0.04. Right? So it is 0 0.04. So that is success. Every time we'll denote P for success, but we'll not write what is this, right? P is success. Q is failure. You could get Q by doing 1 minus P, which is 1 minus 0 0.04, right? So which is 96%. Okay, let me write like this. Or you could have calculated using 24. So let's do that also. 24 over 25 doesn't make sense to you right so either way what you get here is 0 0.96 so that is q what we also see is that we have only two outputs right only two outputs is that okay now only two outputs and they are independent that means that probability of success is 0 0.04. It remains so in our experiment and the probability of failure also does not change, right? So they are independent events. So if they are independent, that means the product rule applies. Is that clear, right? So, so if we want to know waiting for success, let's say there are 10 failures, then the failure to the power of 10 and then a success times probability of success gives us the result. Is that clear? Perfect. Okay, so let's answer the first question, which is, what is the probability that you will win in the fourth game? It means what? It means three failures, right? Three failures. And then one success. That is what it means. That is how you have to see. What is the probability that you will win in the fourth game? Or that means, you could say, 
wait for three games then win fourth do you get the idea right so so either way you could check what is the probability that you will win in the fourth game perfect so what is the probability tell me so failure probability is 0 0.96 so we say 0 0.96 to the power of 3 since they are independent we'll just multiply failure with success of 0 0.04 and get our answer does it make sense i hope that should be simple right so 0 0.96 to the power of three failures times one success 0 0.04 is it clear so we get our answer as 0 0.035 so we'll round our answers to 1000 okay so that becomes the probability is it clear so you win the fourth game seems to be very low right okay but you soon realize it's pretty good b what is the probability of winning within first four games now that means what so it's kind of critical to understand it means what what is the probability of winning within first four games that means not losing all four games now you could see that right what is the probability of with winning within four games so you win at least once right you win out once you don't lose all four games is that clear so not losing all four games that is winning in first four games got it you could win first game second game third or fourth but the key is that you're not losing all the games does it make sense to you right so so what is the probability of winning within first four games that means you don't lose all the games so it is one minus losing probability all four games you lose that is losing probability is point so winning is 0 0.04 losing is 0.96 so we'll do 0 0.96 to the power of 4 so that is the probability of losing all four games all four but you have one right you have not lost all four so one minus that is your answer let's calculate this answer one minus 0 0.96 to the power of 4 is is 0 0.150 let me write this as one is it okay so that is the probability of winning within first four games right 15 percent okay now part c what is the probability of winning at least once in first four games now when the question is what is the probability of winning at least once that means you could say waiting is what since you are winning at least once waiting could be zero you won the first game right waiting could be one you won the second game waiting could be two you won the third game or waiting could be three you won the fourth game so maximum the random variable which is waiting here right so we are actually trying to find the probability of waiting right that random value the waiting time so in this case random variable is waiting trials waiting trials or the failures so you could have either no failure you win the first game one failure two failure or three failure. that's it if you are winning at least once in first four games is that clear now these are very important questions they may look simple now but i like you to go through them once again a couple of times rather understand the concepts correct now let's write down the probability waiting for zero games means just winning it right so winning is 
the very first game winning is that much plus now you lose once that means 0 0.96 times then you win right then you win that means 0 0.04 but in this case you lose twice you lose twice so that means 0 0.96 to the power of 2 times 0 0.04 correct and then you lose three times but you win okay so 0 0.96 to the power of 3 times 0 0.04 that is it add them all correct so add them all so at least once okay now add them all so it is 0 0.04 plus 0.96 times 0 0.04 plus uh, let's put in brackets 0 0.96 square times 0 0.04 plus within brackets 0 0.96 cube times 0 0.04 let's see what it is so what you get here is 0 0.150 right so so what is the probability of winning at least once in first four games so you get around 15 percent here okay so that is how you are going to figure out this answer correct now the last i mean this part d here is what is the probability that you win second time on the fifth game winning second time on the fifth game that really means that let's consider like this one two three four and then the fifth game so you have won on the fifth game that is very critical now winning on the fifth game really means that we have first game we could have won in any one of these four positions is it clear first game you could have won in any of these four positions correct now getting to fifth game win means that there are You have won twice getting here. That means in this winning is two times. That means probability of success, which is 0 0.04 square winning two times. And the net result is losing three times 0 0.96. These are independent events. They can be multiplied. Since first time you could have won in either one of these four games, I'll multiply this by four do you get this idea that gives you the answer of what is the probability that you win second time on the fifth game so if you look into five games there are two winnings and three losses that gives you two winnings and three losses and as far as the first game win is there you could have won in first game second game third game or fourth game so that gives you four times so that is your answer right so let's calculate this we have four times 0 0.04 square times 0.96 cube and that is 0 0.00566 so that is very less right but that is the answer is it okay which you could round to 0 0.006 if you want to right okay so that becomes the probability of winning twice including the game fifth right so that is how you could see it part e is what is expected number of games before you win now in any geometric distribution this expected number of games before you win is the ratio of q over p right so you don't have to think much on this is it okay so which is 20 
4 over 1, right? So which is 24 over 1. You could say 24 out of 25, 1 out of 25, but gives you the answer as 24. Is it okay? So we get expected. So what is expected number of games before you win? You have to wait for 24 games to win. Do you understand? So in this particular game, you had to wait for 24 games to make a win and all the questions related to winning in fourth game, right? So therefore, the probabilities are very low, right? These are the results which we have from our question. I hope you understand all these concepts. I hope that really helps. We have tried to capture a lot of information in this particular video. And I hope it helps you really to understand all the concepts. Feel free to write your comments, share your views. And if you like and subscribe my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.